no, I'm saying. Well. Um, you know, I'm trying my best. I'm going out there. Um, just trying to contribute, contribute as much as possible. I love making plays. Um, I really don't look forward to big plays that they come. They come. I just want to be able to make the stops. Uh, we watched it yesterday. It was uh, it was pretty amazing uh, his effort. Um, it was one of the best efforts he uh, has shown so far. Um, that's, that's made a big stop for us. Even though they uh, contributed after that, you know it was a big stop for us. They gave us hope that guys uh, putting on a wing helmet like that is still giving effort all the way to the end. Is not giving up. So that was a great effort. Coach Carr uh, acknowledges the whole team um, acknowledges it too. You know, and we're just proud of that type of effort that someone can give as a, a leader like that. That shows a lot of heart that uh, a lot of guys are trying to put out uh, this year. Um, just going out there and just trying to show everyone that we're not giving up. This is the type of uh, team that we're trying to uh, create a lot of uh, heart and soul into the sport. And um, you know, this is what Michigan has been about for many years. It just is not just this year. Uh, uh, many years before us, and you know, we still just trying to keep it going. Uh, yeah, he was. Even a lot of us was because we was all in the same spot together. But, uh, you know, uh, he made a great play uh, cutting back across. And uh, Crable made a great play as well, making up for it. So, uh, like Coach Zabel said, it was a bad play by you. Then it was a good play by you. So um, we're proud of him for his effort. Uh, all the guys who tried to get there, you know, we're proud of their effort as well. You know, that's just what you want out of a team like that. It's amazing uh, to see how the guys are working. You know, uh, from a long, long road uh, coming each game is a hard game. We're going against nothing is easy. In those first two games, it was, uh, you know, kind of uh, getting used to it, settled in, but you don't want that type of start. But since we did, you know, a lot of guys have contributed since then, uh, played together. And you can just see the, the uh, willpower and, and heart from the whole team just to keep going each week like that. Who was the biggest surprise? Um, you look for is the offensive line. That's, that impressed me a lot. A lot of guys go down left and right with them. Um, guys have stepped in. You know, you could just keep naming them from there who have stepped in, in and out um, through the game. Then you have the smaller guys. Um, Chris McClellan has made a big effort uh, to contribute on Switzer team. Uh, Anton Campbell. Um, and it, the list can keep going on. Guys have just stepped in. Guys are just listening, paying attention. Um, and when it's time to come, you know, they're just waiting to just step in and they contribute when they do. And I'm proud of those guys because I didn't really realize it until you actually watch film and you see uh, the effort they give. And they give 110% every time. What's it like working with uh, Coach Abel since you're never really satisfied, always wants mm -hmm. more, wants to get better than you do? Uh, it's, it's sometimes an unsure feeling, but it's, it's a good feeling as well because he's not leaving you um, always knowing that you played your best. He's always leaving you with the state of mind that you can always do better. And uh, I'm always looking for a smile or something, like give me a high five or something. He wouldn't even do that. So, uh, you know, he just lets you stay humble, you know, as much as possible and let you know that you did make some mistakes. Um, you're not a great player just yet. You know, just keep working on it. And that's a good thing about it, you know, because your head will never get too big. He'll keep you uh, humble the whole time. How do you see him smile? I see him smile before we make a joke at him, but he, that's him making a joke back at us. So uh, that's the only time I really get to get a how chuckle out of it. How do you evaluate yourself in the league? I mean, how do you, what do you use as gauges to, to kind of measure um, your progress? If I critique my own self, uh, I can say that, you know, um, I do contribute to make plays. You know, I have small mistakes. Um, it could be with, you know, getting off blocks. It could be um, getting in the right fit, you know. It's the type of thing you just look at as well as after hearing it from your coach for so much. Um, you kind of critique your own self on film. You kind of like, man, I could have made that play for put it in this position. And you try to use it in practice and you use it uh, in game time. And once you go over it for a while, you make that play. But you know you know that it's other plays out there that you have to make as well. So you just try to critique yourself all week. You tend to be hard on yourself? A lot, a lot like the coaches because if I'm, if I'm not, you know, I'm going to go out there with a state of mind of I can't make a mistake and that's not true. 
um, going up there it was a first time playing against those guys that had um, fast guys all around. I remember the crowd being into it, being very loud. Um, this though last that last quarter, um, those guys was coming in and they pushed very hard against us. And um, you know, this gave you a fight. Just like uh, last week is going to be the same as this week. And um, you just got to be prepared to play those guys because you know they're wounded um, with different players as well as ours. But they can come out and give you the same effort as uh, Michigan State. Was it good for you guys to see the power rushing attack, especially in the second half there, to get prepared for what you see in the next couple? It was it was very good because um, you know we made some good stops in the first half. We knew that. Um, they was going to shoot the trigger anytime soon. Um, second half, they came out and, and showed their power, you know, and, and that's what you're going to see each week, two backs each week uh, that has explosion to them. It could be a power back. Um, and you just want to adjust to it because that can help you out a lot um, to weeks to come. But, you know, they can also show your team the effort they can uh, withstand against that type of run. What was the problem in the third quarter? No, just didn't come out with the same type of fight you had in the first quarter. A lot of guys were. Um, too high in different areas, and um, you just had to come and readjust it. We had to see what we was messing up on. We didn't realize that until you know we watched the film uh, yesterday. But um, you made those adjustments uh, towards the end of the game, um, made it some good stops, and you realized that you know that team can come out with a lot of fights. So you can't just uh, put your shoulders back and relax anytime like that. So uh, it helped us out a lot, and uh, we're gonna work on it this week and get ready for this this team coming up. Yeah, you obviously uh, gained a lot of respect. With the You know, we like to think about the, the, uh, this game this week. Uh, I know it's going to be some challenges you want to think about, but you don't want to jump too far because uh, pretty much uh, you're going to run against the same thing uh, each week. Uh, you know, just want to focus on uh, Wisconsin and what they're bringing to us because they're our main focus and they can really be a, a great challenge each week against anybody. So, you know, they're going to come with their A game and we're going to try to bring rush too. So that's pretty much our focus. Uh, amazing, you know. I, I look up to him, still big brother to me, and I, you know, when every time I can glance and, and watch him, uh, it's been amazing. And that's still the type of mentality that we want to play with as well. So, um, congratulations to him and his efforts. Do you think there's a comparison between you guys? You know, you really had the best years and seniors. Um, I don't know if I can compare myself with two different uh, style of guys and the way we play. He's bigger than me. Um, we both have the same efforts uh, to get to the ball and want to make plays and. Just try to stay humble with it. Um, that's the pretty much what I can say. We just have different styles.